feel like these books need their moment because they were pricey and they're pretty. It bugs the shit out of me that they send some of the books without it and I don't know why it bugs me so much. This is how I used to tab. So it looks really cool without the dust jacket. I regret annotating this because of the yellow sprayed edges. I really wish I would have left it plain, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I tried to read this book. I could not get into it. I actually DNF'd it. Hello, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin, and I hope you are doing so, so lovely. Welcome to another video. It's been a minute and I am so sorry if you guys have no idea what's been going on. Go watch my weekly vlog. I explain it, but I am back and I'm back with a bang because I am doing a bookshelf reorganization tour type of video as you guys saw from the title. I have never done a tour on my channel. I've done a bookshelf reorganization video. I think that was one of like my first videos. But my collection has grown. I have added an addition to the bookshelf wall. So I figured why not just make a video out of it. And if you guys are kind of confused as to why I'm sitting on the floor and not in front of the bookshelves, it's because I forgot to film an intro. So here we are. I wanted to film it before my shelves were done so you guys could see the final result at the end of the video. But I figured I'd just film it against the books because why not? But um, I have no idea how I want to do my books. I have done genre, I've done height, I've done author. I've never been happy with any of them. And there are pieces of each organization type that I like. Like height, I really love the aesthetically pleasing look of the height, but it's so hard to do. Genre, I really like that I knew where everything was at. And same thing with author, I love how every author's book was together. And I loved um, how my book of the month books were the top of the shelf, which I think I'm gonna do. So I think I'm gonna take stuff from each of those organization types and like put them into one. So I think I'm gonna do height or author, height. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna let myself have fun with it. I know the middle shelf, like the little shelf, I want for special edition books. I don't have a lot of special edition books, but I feel like these books need their moment because they were pricey and they're pretty. So that's what we're gonna do. I have my coffee here. I'm ready to go. I have all day. It's currently a Sunday. I am off today. So these are my only plans for a day. So let's get to it because I feel like this is gonna be a really long video. Okay, so this is the current situation of the bookshelves. They've been driving me nuts for a couple months now, but I knew I didn't want to reorganize them until I got another shelf. And also I knew I was going book shopping in January for myself for my birthday. It's my birthday treat to myself. Do not mention the Taylor Swift and the Nintendo Switch birthday gifts to myself. Those don't count, books count, okay? Anyways. So I wanted to wait and today I'm going to Ikea as you already heard from me. So I just wanted to take a little before shot so you guys can soak in this mess. It's not really a mess, this is just a mess. But like that looks okay, it's just that. Uh, I'm not sure how I wanna reorganize them. I've done the um, by height, I've done genre, I've done by author. I don't really know. Like this looks so pleasing to me, like the all the height. I mean, they're not perfectly aligned, but they're like in categories and then height. I think I kind of want to do author maybe. So it looks like a library. I don't know. We'll see. Um but yeah, this is the before. Okay, you guys. They're built. They're up. They look Fabulous. Even empty, they look fabulous. You're going to see me over the course of a couple different days. Um, I don't have enough time to fully do the full organization in tour today. That will happen the next day. But if I look different from the intro, that's because this was filmed over a course of a weekend. So, but I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what they look like empty. Here they are. I am so excited. I just put that and that up there, uh, I don't know if they're going to stay there. I just put it up there just to have something up there. And because I just got that today when I bought the shelf. So I just want it up there. But oh, I'm so happy. This is going to look so nice for videos. 
very excited. Okay, so the first books I'm actually going to put up are my Curse Breaker series, but the Bookish Box Shop um, dust jackets. I love these dust jackets. They are beautiful. So I'm thinking of putting them here because I feel like they need their moment. But also when I record videos, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is okay. We're going to leave them here for now. But I may move them up. But I'm not sure. But that's all I've gotten so far. First shelves are up. These are book of the month books that don't have this little doohickey, which uh, it bugs the shit out of me that they send some of the books without it. And I don't know why it bugs me so much. I think because I want them all to be aligned. But I don't know. This may change, but we'll see. But that's for now. I'm not sure what's next. Here's the dealio. I'm leaving this open because I have Chain of Iron coming and then what's the Chain of Thorn? Is that the last book in this series? Well, trilogy, who knows? So I'm leaving this open for that reason. Um, so just wanted to say that. But this is what it looks like. Um, so how I ended up doing it is we have hardcovers because I love hardcovers. Um, and then I did kind of by genre. I didn't do by author. I was going to, but I'm like, that's too far into it. So we have over here on the far end, we have contemporary romance, and then we go into thriller, horror, then historical fiction. These are my special editions. And then we go into fantasy for adult. And then YA fantasy starts. And that's how we're gonna do it. Now we're gonna move down here. Let me let me move you guys down. Um, and we're gonna finish out with the rest of these books that I have. We're gonna put it here, and then we're gonna put in my smaller hardback. So let's do that.
Y'all want to see something fun? This is how I used to tab. These are very old copies of mine. Well, some of them are newer, some of them are older, because originally when I read the Harry Potter series, I was very young, and then, you know, don't take care of your books, so some of them I've had to replace, some of them I got rid of, but these are very well loved. I mean, can you, like, see that? <laughs> I need to eventually get hard covers for these. My favorite book of the series, no one asks. I really like the half blood prints. No one asks, but that's just my favorite. Okay friends, this is what they look like now. I'm going to them by author now in their little subcategories, categories, whatever. I'm gonna put them by author because this, I know I will go insane trying to find books. So let's uh, cue the time lapse and let's do that. Ready for the reveal in three, two, one. Ta-da! They are all done. Now let's get into the tour. I've never done a tour before and I don't have anyone here to help hold the camera to show me so I'm just gonna do it this way. 
So up top, obviously, we have the Book of the Month books in color. Uh, I think they're right. You know, they look okay to me. They look cool to me. And they span all across the top until you get here where these are Book of the Month books, but they don't have the label on the spine. And then I just put this candle that I got from a local boutique. Um, it's all burnt out, but it smelled like banana bread and then a clock because Book of the Month, you get it time, ha. Huh? And then I just have a fake Ikea plant up there. Next shelf, we're starting my hardcovers. So we have um, contemporary romance and then thriller, horror, all that. Um, they go by genre and then author. Um, and also all hardcover. So we have Anxious People, which fun fact is actually one of my favorite books. This is actually the first book I read in one sitting. I could not put it down. I absolutely love it. I would love to reread it. Um, I'm not going to go through every single one of these books. I'll probably just show a couple. Um, this is the Waterstones edition of A Slow Burning Fire. I really like this edition because I love the black. And then um, under the dust jacket, it looks like this. I think it looks very nice. The UK just knows how to do special editions. I think Barnes & Noble's is getting better, but Waterstones just knows how to do it. And then facing out is The Silent Patient because this is my absolute favorite thriller ever if you guys want something very twisty right very psychologically you know what happened check this one out um and then we have the maidens this is also a water sun edition and this one is actually signed um and i really like this one because the hard cover itself like underneath the dust jacket is white so it looks really cool without the dust jacket but it is signed I'm planning on doing a video of all my special editions because I think it would be fun. I don't have a lot, but, you know. We have more thrillers, and then we go into horror, um, plain bad heroines. I want to read this so bad. I'm going to get to it very soon. We have the Final Girl Support Group. I know there was a lot of mixed opinions about this book, but I actually really enjoyed this book a lot. This is also... A special edition um this is actually signed by mr grady hendrix and it says keep running and then we have the poppy war and then babel which the poppy war i'm planning on getting the rest of the series pretty soon i read the first book absolutely loved it i want to reread it before going into the rest of it and so that's pretty much this shelf. Oh, also, I do want to mention, I get a lot of questions about this. Um, not on here, but on TikTok. They're, everyone's like, why do you have A Court of Mist and Fury, but where's the rest of the series? So back when I first got into reading, um, when this series was at its height, it was still coming out. I bought um, the paperback of A Court and Throne of Roses, which I have, which I'll show you. I bought this one, and then A Court of Wings and Ruin was about to come out. So I, I had it in hardcover. And then I went through kind of a life change thing and I got rid of all my books except I kept A Court of um, Thorn and Roses and this one. I don't know why I got rid of A Court and Wings and Ruin, but that's that. And then let's move on. So this is my special editions in the UK except for this book. I want to get rid of this book, but I just put it here for now. These are some of the books I really love. Um minus one it's okay so we have carrie soto is back we have lessons in chemistry this is probably my favorite book that i read in 2022 um this is the waterstones edition i just think this is an absolute really cool edition of this book and if you have not read lessons in chemistry i highly recommend we have Beautiful World, Where Are You? This is the Waterstones edition. I did annotate this. I regret annotating this because of the yellow sprayed edges. I really wish I would have left it plain, but you know, you win some, you lose some. And then we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Uh, this is a really stunning edition, and this is my favorite book by her, um, so I had to get it. We have A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. I didn't love this book. This is from the bookish box when I got it, the one time I got it, and then I was not happy at all with it. I don't really like this edition because it's unreadable, for one, because the pages, can you see that? 
they're shiny they're laminate they're not like actual paper and it's incredibly heavy and it's just i don't know why they did it and then we have the anniversary edition of the invisible life of Addie larue this is a stunning edition and now i bought this before i actually read the book i wasn't a fan of the book i know i know i know the reason being is because it was very character focused the plot it wasn't plot heavy and I just got really bored and really just it was really slow but I kind of want to give it another chance and see maybe if I wasn't just in the right headspace I've grown a lot with my reading taste so maybe that's why but let's move on to the next shelf so this is carrying over from the previous shelf that you saw with um Babel and all that these are also my remaining of my adult fantasy and then we go into YA so we have, obviously, the Crescent City books. Um, we have those. And then we have Dark and Hollow Star, which I actually really liked this book. Um, I also get a lot of questions as to why I just have this one, not the rest of this series. I think I got this one really cheap um, somewhere, and I just snagged it up. I have read The Red Queen. I don't remember it, though. But also, yeah, I thought i had the first book in this duology apparently not lore um chain of gold i you guys heard me i bought the rest of the series it's oh hello we're moving um i bought the rest of the series so that's why there's like a space left because you know it's there um these violent delights duo i absolutely love these with all my heart i highly recommend them and then we have Carrie Maniscalco. Now, Jack the Ripper wasn't a fan. I loved Kingdom of the Wicked. Hated the rest of the series. Um, I actually did a vlog on where I read this entire trilogy. So I'll link it above and below for you guys to check out. But I don't know what happened with that series. It was written really well. First book, really strong book. And then it just got so smut heavy well not really smart it was very focused on the sexual tension between the two characters that I was just bored so there's where that went now now let's move on to the next shelf okay here we are these are the rest of my taller hardbacks for young adults and then we go into the short hardbacks so um None of these really stand out to me except for this one. Ace of Spades. Absolutely adore this book. If you have not read this book, go read it. It's an amazing read. Um, it's like Gossip Girl meets Get Out. Um, and then we have our short hardcovers. Um, the rest of the series of The Inheritance Game is on my shelf. It's just in paperback form. So we have a couple of these. Nothing really stands out except when we get down here to Six Crimson Cranes. I really loved this book a lot. Haven't read the rest of the series. It's my goal to read the rest of the series, but I thought this was a stunning book. The cover is stunning, and I just remember eating this book up when I read it. But that's pretty much it. I'll let you guys have a moment to look. All right, moving on. So this shelf, I only have two... <laughs> middle grades that are hardcover and that is Amari and the Night Brothers and Amari and the Great Game. Now I didn't know where to put them so I put them here. We have these stunning dust jackets from the Curse Breaker series. I get so many questions on this um set. I don't think you can get these anymore. I'm so sorry but I really liked this series. It's a YA fantasy and I really loved it but these dust jackets are absolutely beautiful. What got me was the spine, how it makes up a castle. It looks like Beauty and the Beast. The Beast Castle. Um, these were actually the first special dust jackets I've ever bought. So yeah, great series. But let's move on to the next show. All right, we have our paperbacks so we have fantasy obviously the majority of my paperbacks are fantasy and romance surprised kind of because I don't really read romance so I don't know why I have a lot of them I did go through a romance phase anyways so start the shelf we have you can see the beautiful which I'm very excited 
Um, someone gave this to me for my birthday, sent it my way. So if that was you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And then we have the Grisha Verse kind of universe books. I love these books. I like Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom a lot better than Shadow and Bone. Um, I thought the second book was so boring. I really liked the third book. I really liked the first book as well. These books, though, have my heart. Um, Crooked Kingdom ripped my heart out. And then we have Mortal Instruments. I have read up till book three. I don't think I'm going to carry on with the series. Okay. If angles changed or anything like that, my mom called me, so sorry. Uh, yeah, so Mortal Instruments, I've read up to the fourth book. I don't think I'm going to continue with this series, honestly. I just don't love it. I don't care for it. So that's that. I have it on my shelf because I like the way they look. We have this series, which... Is this the Mirror Visitor series? Really want to get into this. I say it every winter. I'm going to read this in the winter time. Do I ever? No. <laughs> we have Carvel, The 10,000 Doors of January. I actually really hated this book, but it's a pretty cover. We have an arc that's coming out this year. Um, just a few random books. Oh, Daughter of the Pirate King. Absolutely love this book. I love this book so much. Everyone go read it. I'm very excited. I have one book of the throne and glass series i don't know why i haven't bought the rest i just haven't yet uh i've been meaning to read that for so long i read this book years and years and years ago i had never continued i don't know why so that is that shelf let's move on okay this is the next shelf it is continuing on with the ya paperbacks so we have some more YA fantasy over here and then we have the harry potter books uh these Look at these bad boys. Like, come on now. Um, Lainey Taylor. Didn't really like this book. Loved Strange the Dreamer. Muse of Nightmares was okay, but I loved Strange of the Dreamer. This is the rest of the Inheritance Game series. It's just been paperback. And here are some, like, thriller books. This is actually really good. I think this is categorized as a horror book. I'm not really sure, but maybe it's thriller. I really liked this book a lot. If you're looking for a good YA thriller horror type book, check this one out because I actually really like it. And then we have some arcs and that's about it for the shelf. Nothing really special. So let's move on to the next shelf. Okay. This is the start of my YA contemporary romance type. Um, so we got a couple books that Brie has got me. She keeps me going with my romances. She always gets me a romance, which I love her for because I never buy romance, so it's good to have them because sometimes I do feel like reading romance. Um, we have a OG. This is Paper Towns. Looking for Alaska is my favorite John Green book. I just don't have it on my shelf because I think my copy is still at my parents' house. We have my original copy of the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. This bad boy has been on several beach trips. I read it every summer when I go to the beach. I don't think I'm going to be rereading it, though, because I read it this past summer and it and it didn't hit the same it felt very young which it is a very young series it just didn't hit the same the show is much better and then we have to all the boys i've loved before i loved this series a lot more than this series i love the show also but these books are great i really really like them moving on to the next shelf uh we have the last chunk of ya romance and then we go into our adult romances so crazy stupid romance book club i haven't read the last book or at least i don't think i've read the last book i can't remember honestly these are a good romance series. It's actually one of the better romance book series I have read. You don't have to read them in order, but there are um, existing characters from the previous books in the book. So, you know, do with that what you will. Um, we have some Christmas books here. Alone with You in the Ether. Try to read this book. I tried to read this book. I could not get into it. I actually DNF'd it because I was so sick of hearing about whatever the hell they were talking about so we didn't have to it but this cover i know is a very sought out cover so i'm gonna keep it <laughs> um we have one of my favorite actually romances this is the girl he used to know uh the uh, main girl character is autistic and i actually really loved this book a lot i really want to read it but if you're looking for a great read this one and I kind of want to check out the rest of this author's books. We have some books by Jasmine Gilroy. I actually really like Jasmine Gilroy. I love her writing. The Royal Holiday was my first book that I've read by her. Absolutely loved this book. 
And then I recently read Party 2 and I did like it, but The Royal Holiday is better. Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. Absolutely love this book. This book made me sob, cry, everything. I loved this book a lot. The first season of the show is really good. I am not finishing the second season because I really think it's a little cringe. Sorry. Let me move y'all. And then we have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I am on the side of this book where I didn't like it. I didn't like it um, as much as I've liked her other books. However, I have read People We Meet on Vacation twice. Now, the second time I read it, I actually really didn't like it at all. Um, I kind of want to reread Beach Read to see if I really like it. Now, I reread People We Met on Vacation when I had COVID, so that could be the reason why, but I just, it didn't hit the same. Uh, same thing with this book. It just didn't hit, and I didn't love it. We have my favorite contemporary author, and that is Taylor Jenkins Reid. Uh, One True Loves, and Seven Husbands, and Daisy Jones, which Daisy Jones is not on the shelf. It's up on my book of the month shelf, are my favorite books by her. If I had to pick one, Seven Husbands. Love that book and then we have a few more books down there and let's move on to the next shelf you guys we're almost done so i have to hold you by hand now because my tripod doesn't go down this low but we have the rest of the adult romances and then we go into adult fantasy so we have my christina lauren books i actually really like them i think they're a fun romance author i didn't really love this book though um we have Sally Rooney. I loved normal people. I didn't like conversations with friends. I actually DNF'd it when I had like 90 pages left. Sorry. Um, Rebecca Shirley. I actually really like this author. I read One Italian Summer. Absolutely love this. Read this book. I can't remember what I thought about this book. And then Brie got me this book for my birthday. So I'm excited to read that. Um, we have, of course, Nicholas Sparks. I know, I know. But these are some of the books that got me into romance forever ago um and i don't know i just really i like him i don't know he knows how to make me cry um we have funny you should ask which brie got me this for my birthday also um she spoils me i'm very excited to read this i love this cover i've been wanting to read this for a while we have after now listen i don't know why i have this book on my shelf still because i read the fanfic when it was harry styles not harden whatever the hell his name is Loved the fanfic. I thought it was brilliant, especially because it was in that era of fanfic, One Direction, all that. Haven't read the actual book. Um, I've seen the movies, but I think they need to be done with the movies, if I'm gonna be honest. I think they need to be done. So there's my opinion on that. Now, let's get into the fantasy we have from Blood and Ash. I really liked from Blood and Ash. This one was just a repeat of this, but different shit going on, if y'all know what I'm saying. We got Lovely War, which is a really good book. If you guys are looking for a great book, I believe this is told in the perspective of... It's told by the perspective of Aphrodite. So, loved that. The Goddess of Love. And then we have Outlander, Dragon and Ember... And then we go into some more of the well-known fantasies. So um, here is where my Sarah J. Mass books are. This is my original copy of A Court in Thorn and Roses. I've been slowly buying the new covers. They're, they're just so expensive for no reason. We got my original paperback of Earth and Blood. Look at that. Can you look at that? Yeah. She's annotated. Um, so there's that. And let's move on to the last shelf. Okay. Here is the last shelf. We have two books in the fantasy what's this oh my god the greek arab type stuff and then we have our horror thriller books um so we have song of achilles i actually hated this book uh greek mythology is not for me i've come to learn i've read two greek mythology books hated them both priory of orange Street, a fantastic fantasy everyone read it we have bunny we all know how we feel about bunny we all know how i feel about bunny if you've watched my vlog I did not like Bunny at all. I'm so sorry if you love Bunny. I just, I didn't get it. I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. Um, and then we have some thrillers. Uh, a good thriller on here, obviously, is Girl on the Train. We have Dark Places. In My Dreams We Hold a Knife, I've heard is very good. Um, and Karen Slaughter. But that's about it. And then we have some journals over here. We have my current reading journal, my old reading journal. And then this is just like a regular journal, which I probably need to put somewhere else. Then we just have my bookmarks. 
And then down here, I know I said that was the last shelf, but technically this is the last shelf. This is just some manga and graphic novels and Pride and Prejudice. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys organize your shelves by because I would love to know. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed because I would love to have you here. If you don't already, follow me on social media. They are always linked down below for you guys. There are also some links to support my channel if you like to. There's no pressure at all, but they are down there. And I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are reading lots of good books. And I will see you guys in my next video.